Hi guys, this is tutorial for a smart physics problem. Uh, this one is the uh, three infinite straight wires. Okay. So if we, we have here a wire, I1 is going into the page, and I2 and I1 is going out of the page. Um, this is the triangle that has D, D, and this is the whole thing is D. And I'll call this H. And these values are known for us. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna solve this problem in variables. Okay, so the first question. Oh, by the way, you can see the question in the description below. All right. So the first question is asking, what is the bx, the magnitude of the field, at the origin here, in the x direction? All right. So if you look at it here, um, i1 and i2 will produce a field that is in the y direction. So if you put your thumb with the current and curl your fingers on the point, so it's going down. And this one, your thumb into the page and curl your finger, and it's so it's in the y, y ne negative y. Okay. And if you do the same for i3, i3 is pointing like point the thumb with the current and curl your fingers, so your curl will go this way, to the right. Cool. So the B from a wire is, we can do it with this equation, which is B equal mu naught, and then the current, which is I3, divided by 2 pi R. And the R here is the H, okay? It's this distance from here to here. Right, so it's 4 pi times 10 to negative 7 divided by 2 pi h times the current i3. All right, and then solve this, and it's in the x positive direction. This is 1. So question number 2 is asking, um, what is the by um, at the origin? All right, so they want the um, magnitude of the magnetic field here in the y direction. So the I2 will be pointing down and the X will be, the I1 will be pointing down too. So we're going to add them. So the BY, BX, so BY will be mu naught over 2 pi R. And, and since they have the same distance here, okay, they have the same distance, then we can just do like I1 plus I. Two. Cool. All right. So you'll get the value, and this one is in the negative y direction. Okay. All right. So question number three is asking, um, what is f x one, the x component of force exerted on one meter length of a wire carrying current I one? Okay. So let's draw the um, the I1 here. So let's say this is the I1. Okay. And then the magnetic field from I3 is going to be pointing this way. This is B31. And from I2 will be pointing down. Cool. Okay, um, let's name this B2 to 1. Okay, but this is the magnetic field, and the force is equal to IL cross B. Okay, so the current is going into the page, so let's put our fingers with the current, and then cross it with B. With this one, let's do the B21, cross it with it, and then the your thumb will point at the um, the force and the force that's from the B21. So from this guy will be going this way. This is the force of two one. Okay. And from this guy, the B31, let's put our fingers um, with the current and then curl it 
with the magnetic field. So when we curl it, if you can see here, the force will be pointing this way. So we'll be pointing um, this way. So this is F31. Okay. Very right, cool. So, um, yeah, so they want the Fx. They want the Fx on 1. Okay. So it has two, com two, two things and um, I mean two vectors and both of them are in the same direction okay because um, this guy the B the f31 has the X component here it has the X component and it has the y component all right so um, we want to know the angle here let's call it theta okay so let's go so um, the f21 will be all of it will be in since it's all in the x direction and since both of them in the same direction then it's plus sign and it's f31 cosine of the angle theta okay cool alright what's the angle here well if you look at it closely it's kinda extend like this is here so this theta is the same as this theta here okay so extend this back we know this H right and we know this this is D and this is D over 2 and yeah so if you see these two you can predict that the angle is um, 60 degrees right you can put it in your calculator because you have all these values. To get this, you can do like the um, cosine inverse of um, d over 2 divided by the d. Okay. And you get 60 degrees, like for this one, for mine. Okay. But for yours, it might be different. Anyway. Okay, so um, the. The force from two on one is just um, I one and then times I two times the mu naught times the L divided by the two pi times R. And R in this case is from I one two, I one two is just D. Let's do this D. And then plus F31 is I1, I3, mu naught L, divided by 2 pi. And let's see, what's the R here? It's between I1 and I3. So I1 and I3 is also D. So we can put these together as, um, let's take the I1 outside, take the mu naught outside take the L outside and we can take the 2 pi and since both D we can take D so it's um, I2 plus oops this one has the cosine cosine of theta I2 plus um, I3 times cosine of the theta okay Plug and check those and you'll get your answer. And it's going to be in the, the direction of it is going to be in the x minus. You can see it here. It's going this way. Okay, cool. So for number four, there's asking about um, the Fy. Fy on one. Okay. So if you look back to this one here, um, this one doesn't affect on the y direction. There's no force from two to one, and but there is a force in the y direction from uh, the from y or three. So we can just take the sine of it, sine of this angle, and we'll get in the y direction for it. So it's equal to i one, i three u naught L 
2 pi d. Now this one is sine of the 60 degrees. Okay, cool. Okay. So number five is asking um, what is the fx x component of the force exerted on a one meter length of a wire carrying current to right, so let me just take some space here okay so there they want the um, x compo the, the x component of the force on on um, wire two here okay so let's Put this one, this guy here. Okay, from this guy, thumb, and curl your finger, you'll get um, the B is going this way. Cool, this is from B32. And then from this guy, it'll be X. I curl it down, so it'll go down. This is B. Um, from 1 to 2. Okay. Alright, let's do the cross product now. Now, for this guy, the let's go with the direction of I, I with the other fingers, and then cross it with B, so it's going this way. Right? So it's perpendicular to this guy. So this is um, F Three, two, and from this guy, let's do cross product two. So with the fingers, cross it with B. Thumb is pointing this way. It's perpendicular to this guy too. So this is F um, one two. So this is heading in the um, in the X positive. X positive. And the component of the x for this guy is the x minus direction. So we're going to have to subtract them now. Okay. So the fy2 will be equal to um, f12 minus f32 cosine of theta. And the theta here is the same as this one here as you can see it's the same thing right and since it's um, it has the same values here the theta here is the same as this one so um, yeah let's just put the numbers here so I1 I2 mu naught L. And by the way, the L here is the length of the wire, wire 2. How much of it they gave us in this question is 1. And then this, um, the distance here is 2 pi, and it's D minus F3, 2, so it's I2, I3, mu, mu naught L divided by 2 pi D. And don't forget the cosine. Right, so it's Cosine of theta. Okay, so doing some math here, um, you will get the get the two out two U L over two pi D. Okay, and then inside it it's I I one minus I three sign of theta okay um, so whatever get wh whoever is bigger in this case it will point to the um, to the um, direction of this force if this is bigger then the force will be in the X minus direction okay but in my case um, this one was bigger so I got positive value Whew. all right cool Alright, I hope this helped and good luck guys.